So, is ice or heat better for back pain? Well, ice therapy can help with back pain or another injury like a sprained ankle if it's applied early enough. After a couple of days, heat can be more beneficial. Here's why. If back pain comes on suddenly with lifting or bending, for example, it's often due to a vertebral joint sprain, which causes a muscle and ligament injury as well as joint inflammation. So the area becomes hot and swollen, but you can't see it like you would a sprained ankle because it's deep inside. At this point, ice, sometimes called cryotherapy, can help reduce the pain and inflammation. Back pain often persists after the acute phase though, because muscles go into spasm around the joint to protect it from further injury. Poor posture, unusual stresses and ageing all put extra strain on our joints, which can of course cause further tightening. A cycle of increasing discomfort leading to increasing tightness quickly gets set up and it can feel as if there's no way out of the pain. Naturally, we recommend a visit to one of our chiropractors or physios to sort these problems out, and we can do that pretty quickly. But is there anything you can do for yourself at home? Well, fortunately there is. So what about cold treatment for back pain? Well, to ease back pain inflammation without muscle tightness, we recommend using a cold pack on the painful area. Gel-filled reusable ones are available for purchase at chemist shops uh, or online or here at Sundial but even a pack of frozen peas can be a good stand-in. But there's a warning. Wrap the packet in a tea towel or similar fabric before you put it on your skin. Freezing material can stick to the skin and can cause an ice burn, which is really unpleasant. Use it for about 10 or 15 minutes every hour or two, uh, and then as the inflammation and pain eases off, then switch to perhaps heat treatment later on. So heat treatment for back pain is linked to muscle tightness. A heat treatment can help loosen things up. Tight muscles are likely to have contracted in reaction to overuse or unusual activities. They'll feel sore to touch. You might be able to feel the knots and a hot water bottle can be a great comfort. But again, don't use a hot water bottle or other source of heat if it's so hot uh, that it can cause a burn. Wrap it in a towel if you need to. Another warning, if the area feels hot to the touch, don't use heat treatment. It will make the inflammation worse. So if something's hot and swollen, you need to cool it down. Remember, it's good to keep gently active and try to move at least every half an hour. So don't apply either heat or cold to the area for longer than about 20 minutes. And stop altogether if the treatment is making you worse. Of course, make sure that you're protecting your skin when applying your heat and cold sources. Best of all, book in as soon as possible for a chiropractic checkup to make sure that there's no long-term underlying problem left that will go on to cause further problems.